okay, these are supposed to be parts of a series in an arithmetic sequence. So we know the equation to an arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n of the nth term minus 1 times d, which d is the uh, diff the rate of change in a sense. D stands for the rate of change. So, um, we know that we've got a sub 10 equals negative 78 and a sub 4 equals negative 18. So we're trying to find a role for that and uh, so we can plug our numbers into the equation and let's just say a sub n can be a sub 10 and so since we know a sub 10 equals negative 78 we can put negative 78 equals since we're not doing a sub 1 I mean since we've got a sub 1 we have to use a sub 1 plus the quantity of since our nth term if we're using a sub 10 will be 10 minus 1 times d the difference also known as the rate of change so um, we can just easily negative 78 equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of not well we don't need a quantity if we do 10 minus 1 times d so 9 d and we can take this and subtract a1 subtract a1 and say negative 78 sub minus a sub 1 equals 9d because we want to figure out what a sub 1 equals in our equation so we add 78 to each side that gives us negative a sub 1 equals 78 plus 9d. And so we don't want to find out what negative a sub 1 is. We want to find out what positive a sub 1 is. So we divide by negative 1 to get that negative out. And we would get a sub 1 equals negative 78 minus 9d. So we can plug this back into the equation because we know a1 equals negative 78 minus 9d and we've got we can use our other equation a sub 4 equals negative 18. So if we plug these numbers into this equation just as before a sub n we will replace with a sub 4 which is equal to negative 18 so negative 18 equals a sub 1 which we just figured out equals the quantity of negative 78 minus d 9d to be in fact plus the quantity of n since our n value would be 4 4 minus 1 times d so negative 18 equals uh, negative 78 minus 9d plus the quantity, well the quantity of negative 78 minus 9d plus the quantity of 4 minus 1 equals 3 so plus 3d um, that's a upside down d plus 3d so negative 18 equals negative 78, which is negative 90 plus 3d, negative 6d. Ah, so making these upside down d's. And so then we want to find out what d equals, so we So we add 78 because it's a negative 78 and we want to isolate the variable, so plus 78 on each side and we would get uh, 60 equals negative 
6d. So we divide by negative 6 to make this just d. So negative 10 equals d because 60 divided by negative 10, I mean negative 6 equals negative 10. So we write out, I'm going to cut back over here, we write out our equation, our no, yeah, we go back to our A1 value because we still want to figure out what that is. And so A1 equals negative 78 minus 9 times. We already know D is now negative 10 times negative 10. So A1 equals negative 78 plus 90. So A1 equals... Uh, Negative 78 plus 90 would be, ah, tough math. Anyway, JK, no it's not. It would be uh, 100 and, um, that would be 12. Aha. So A1 equals 12, so we can plug it into the equation and, uh, Plug it into the equation so we know a sub n equals a1, which we just found out is 12. So we would drop that down. Plus n minus 1 times d, which we just found out equals negative 10. So this is our equation.